Hi and welcome to Norski TV. I'm looking to do the preview for our game tomorrow against Molda. Um, we are playing them away um, in Norway and um, our last outing with them at the Emirates. Um, you know, they gave us a bit of a game but eventually we came through and basically battered them 4-1. And I'm expecting us to go there and literally finish the business. Um, and if we do that, um, we top the group. We're we topping the group now. We've won three out of three games. If we do that, we're pretty much, if not, um, through. And then we can really kind of relax, you know, um, for the rest of the uh, last two games that we play. So, you know, um, if we do that, we're through to the knockout stages. And I do believe that um, we will go there and get a result. Um, what I want to see from the team, um, because of, of this late, um, we haven't really been seeing Arsenal um, at their best whatsoever. Um, in terms of their, their fluent football, it's not there at the moment. Very, as I say, pragmatic, very boring, um, cautious, you name it, all the, the negative side of it, um, we're just not seeing. And we're not scoring enough goals. Um, creativity is a massive problem and um, we just need to start showing um, some will now in terms of um, going into this game um, we've got a, a game on Sunday against Wolves and we really need to have a nice win going into the game against Wolves um, so we've got some sort of confidence going into it albeit that it's going to be a much changed side um, Arteta has uh, taken out a squad out there and, and he's also included some youngsters um, from the, the uh, under 23 side and uh, the likes of um, uh, Smith Rowe, um, Balligan, Aziz and Cottrell, they travelled with the, the squad um, to um, Molda. So is he going to play them? Who knows? Um, I hope, I mean, I'd definitely love to see Smith Rowe um, probably playing in that number 10 role. He really did well under Unai Emery when he played in the Europa. The only problem with Smith Rowe is that he gets injured quite easily. And that's been his problem. That's been his setback. But I'm hoping that um, he will start him and start him in that number 10 role because we wanted to see a bit more creativity. All right, yes, we can get the creativity from around the pitch, but we are lacking... Um, that special through ball, um, making those runs into the box. And I think Smith Rowe, who scored for the under 23s, I think he scored an actually, for, if my memory serves me right, or scored a brace um, the other day. So he's on fire at the moment. And so, you know, why not try him in, the, in that role? So it would be good to see him. Balogun, you know, a striker, he came on um, last sort of. 10 minutes or 15 minutes of the then Dort game when we was playing at home to them. So it would be good to, um, you know, see um, him maybe get a little run out, but maybe come on as a uh, as a sub. But we'll we'll see what happens there. Um, uh, Eddie and Kete has travelled Lacazette. So it may well be that Lacazette may start because he didn't start against... Um, leads um on 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 uh, on sunday so we'll see what happens but yeah um what do i think of the game in terms of um i mean look we're not going into this game you know of in any sort of good um you know we're not in a good form at the moment we're not we got the form is not good at the moment um, you know, we've played nine games in the Premier League, scored nine goals. And uh, I, that is the problem. The problem is up front, we're not scoring at all. All right, we, we ended up getting a draw against Leeds with 10 men. Pepe obviously got sent off. He's travelled as well. Um, I'm hoping that Arteta just put an arm around him. He's a confidence player. And so I'm just hoping that... Um, Give him a run out. Get his confidence back. Even though he's going to miss the next three games, Premier League games, just try and get his confidence back. Get him, you know, don't banish him or ostracise him. You know, um, you know, Arteta is known. I mean, he's very inconsistent anyway with the way he manages players. And so I'm hoping that he, he will be consistent and hopefully he will start him. And um, Mulder, you know, as I said, um, when they, you know, when they played us, um, 
uh, a couple of weeks back. You know, they, the first the first half, you know, it, it was a bit of a struggle. You know what I mean? And then when we we kind of got going in the the second half, I think we were getting. I think he got two goals in that game, uh, and he had a really good game in that game. So, um, you know, I think we just need to just impose our game on them. Let's take the handbrake off, as I keep saying. Play with the handbrake off. Let's get some some real creativity. Let's get let's play fast. Let's not come out there and start playing slow, uh, or or being cautious in terms of how we play out the back. Um, I like Renison. Um, you know when I saw him against Dundalk, I thought he had a very good game. Um, I loved his distribution. He's very good with the ball at his feet. And then what was quite strange is that he then didn't end up playing in the um, the game against Mulder, which I found really strange. Because I was, I was thinking, well, look, if you're going to get any kind of, you know, consistency, especially coming in the Europa, you know, you know, we we want to see you playing at least be the, the goalkeeper for the Europa games, but it, it seems as if Arteta seems to be swapping around now. Maybe he will probably rest Leno for this game and and bring in Runnison. Um I know um, we've got that big game on on Sunday, so I I, I reckon personally speaking that um, he's going to probably start Runnison in this game. Um, Mustafi also has travelled. David Luiz has travelled Cedric. Um, I think Tierney's travelled. Obviously, I've said the new players uh, that have come from the under-23s. Enketia, Willock. Um, so, we'll, we'll see how the team is going to be um, hopefully set out. And um, it's what system he's going to play. You know, he may go with... Uh, I don't want him to go defensive. I don't want him to go with a 3-4-3. Three, three. He may possibly go with a 4-2-3-1, four, a four, sort of same formation he went with um, with um, the game against... Um, who, was, who was it that we played? The, the game against some Leeds. And so that's maybe the, the, the setup he's going to go with. I don't think he'll do... I don't think he'll go 4-3-3. Uh, three, three. He may go with a four-two-three-one. Uh, I think Shaka has also travelled as well, and maybe Sabalas. So, um, not too sure who else has travelled. But if I was gonna possibly choose that four, no, Maitland Maitland Niles has travelled as well. So if I was gonna go with a back four, um, you know, with the players that I think he should rest. You know, people like Gabriel, I think he should rest. Um, Holding, well, oh boy, does he really deserve to play against Wolves? But he may rest the holding and probably bring um, a Louise in there. So if I was going to go with a back four, um, I would go with um, obviously Renison in goal, um, and then starting at the back, uh, um, Cedric Cedric Suarez. Um, I'll start him at, at, at that right back. Um, alongside Mustafi and David Luiz. And then on the left-hand side, um, I will go with um, Maitland-Niles, because I think he can play down that side as well. I'll go with Maitland-Niles. Now, in the pivot, the two, um, you've got the likes of Shaka and Sabalas. Um, now, the problem is, it all depends on whether Partey... He's going to be fit for the, the Wolves game. And if he is, maybe he will go with a Shaka and Sabalas sort of combination. Or he may he may try using Cottrell in that position, who plays in that um, uh, in that midfield position as well. Um, then you've got, um, like, in terms of Pepe, Nelson, Smith-Rowe. I would love to see Smith-Rowe in that, in that pocket, in that number 10 role. Um... And you know, if you know, I think is do we experiment? Can we experiment? Go with Balogun up front. Why not go with Balogun up front? Let's see what this guy can do. He's strong, powerful, scores goals for the under the 23s. And yes, this I wouldn't say this is a step up in terms of you know the quality opposition that we're playing. And so, why not go with a Balogun um, up front? But I, I, you know, I know what he's going to go with. He's probably going to go with Eddie Enketia down the middle. With uh, um, he'd probably start Pepe on the right, um, Nelson on the left, um, and he probably will probably go with Shaka and uh, Sabalas in in that pivot in in the, in the midfield with Smith Rowe in that hole. 
So, as I said, I'm just kind of a bit all over the place, but uh, you know what I've just said in terms of the back four. So, Cedric Suarez, Mustafi, Louise, David Luiz, um, let obviously run a sudden goal, um, and uh, Maitland Niles starting on the left. And then go with Shaka and Sabalas um, in, in, in the two. Uh, Smith roll, that's uh, I'll go with in the number 10 roll. Pepe on the right, Nelson on the left. And I'd like to see Balogun up front. That's who I'd like to see. I'd like to see Balogun. Give him a chance. Let's see what this guy can do um, up front. You know, you, you know you've got Balogun, you've got Nelson, um, who, you know, who, who can run at them. You know, he, he's relatively quick. He can he can run at, the, run at the players. He carries the ball pretty well. Just needs to, um, I suppose the thing, what he needs to do is just, just know when to release the ball. Um, and just go for it. Pepe, go for it. I mean, you're going to be playing on the right-hand side. And uh, I just want you to just be more decisive in terms of um, what you're doing with the ball. You know, don't take that extra step or take that extra, you know, make that extra step over or, or you know, because half the time you're tackling yourself. You know, you need to get your head up and look up for that 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 that, that, that quick pass. Um, so, and just make sure your, your head is right. You know, make sure your head is and, and don't get... You know, I know you know. I know you really come out and said sorry to um, the team. So, you know, that's what I see. So, what what I what I would say what 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 I would say is um, that with that team that I've 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 mentioned, I think that they can go to Mulder and 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 put a couple goals past them. Will will we concede? Who knows? Um, you know. We we have set up well defensively in terms of Arteta has got us. Even though yes, we lost against um Aston Villa at home and uh, and I don't know what, what went on there. I mean, as I said, um he was shocked himself. Um, um Arteta was absolutely mind boggled as to why they played like that. Uh, he's tried to set them up defensively strong, pragmatic, um and so if we are you know comfortable in the back. Um, and you've got the likes of Shaka and Sabellas in front. They need to start working half of the team and not get overrun. You know, Mulder, I've got, you know, a couple of OK players. You know, nothing to write on about it. You know, a lot of people say they're part-timers, so, you know. So we should go there and, and, and beat this team. And I think if we do that, put a few goals past them, get the confidence going so that when we come back, you know, we're, we, you know, we're in a good mood. Um, coming into the um, the Wolves game. So in terms of my prediction, um, I'm going to go with a... I think we may concede. So I'm going to go with a 3-1 win to Arsenal. That's what I'm going to go with, a 3-1 win to Arsenal. I hope we do keep a clean sheet. Um, and, you know, we'll see what happens. On another note, um, you know, obviously hearing the, the news about um, uh, Diego Maradona, you know... Uh, came out um this evening to say you know he passed away um from um a heart attack and uh, really our thoughts go out to his family um you know legend absolute legend you know everybody knows him for the hand of god in that game against england terry you know i think it's terry butcher literally still doesn't forgive him forgiving him for that but and i remember that game um but mate this guy you know the way this guy played um he's a total legend um, you, you you know you're not gonna find another footballer. Well, I say like him, Messi. You know he's probably up there with him. Uh, and Maradona was just he was great. You know he made teams like Napoli. You know they loved him in Napoli. I mean you know he went there and they they worshipped him. Um, but you know the guy's only sixty. You know um, and it's a shame. You know he went into hospital. He had a bleed on the brain and we thought it was touch and go. But they said it was successful, and then, and then here in two weeks later, he's now gone. And then yeah, and then also um, talking about deaths, um, just hearing about um, Evy D, who used to come on AFTV, heard that um, he's passed away as well. And, and again, our thoughts and prayers um, go out to his family. And you know, it's not a nice, you know, coming up to the Christmas, and you know, it always seems to be around this period of time that you know we get these little sad. Um, you know, events and stories. And, uh, you know, um, again, our thoughts go out to them. And, and, you know, I don't know the situation or what it is, 
but this is what we're hearing. So look, um, that's all I've got to say on on the game um, with regards to um, Mulder. Um, I hope that we can go there, give a good account of ourselves, and then you know um, I'll be doing the player review and player ratings. Hopefully um, after the game, and then we will be looking at the the Wolves game coming up on Sunday, and hopefully you know we can go into that game and try and get our confidence back. Arsenal need to turn this around in terms of our 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 our, um, our confidence and our form. We we can't keep going on like this. The Bamier cannot only have two goals. You know, last season he you know was banging in twenty plus all in all in all competitions, and he's only got two. Um, uh, well, in the Premier League, and I think maybe I think one in in um, one of the cups. So probably three or four goals in total. It's not good. So. Guys, come on Arsenal, please. Arteta, change the mindset of these guys. You know, it's been a, a, a pretty um, rocky, rocky um, period in these last couple of weeks. Um, and we need to turn this around. The players, you need to start, you know, bucking up your ideas, pull your fingers out and let's go and um, do it for the fans. You know, do it for yourselves, do it for the for the shirt, for the badge. Do you know what I mean? And hopefully we can come away from uh, Mulder with a, uh, a great result and we can go into the, the Wolves game with a bit of confidence. Listen, please like, subscribe, share and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.